Hey guys, and welcome to the next part. So in this part, I'm just going to fix a bug with the um, projectiles where it can collide with the player who fires them. So we're going to go to the spawn projectile in the first person character, and we're going to set the instigator to self, compile and save that. And then we'll go into our projectiles, go to our projectile, and uh, we'll do other not equal to and then we'll drag off here, get instigator. It's not equal to this, then we'll do something. Alright, so uh, that should fix the bug with the weapon. Yes, it looks like it has. <clears throat> so we can kill our zombies, and we win. Alright, so let's complicate this a bit more. Uh, how should we do this? There's a few things we can do first, but the first thing we'll do is we'll make the zombies a bit better. So we're going to make a new folder. We call it controllers. And we'll make a new class. We're going to type, uh, we're going to expand all classes and hit detour, type detour. And select detour crowd AI controller. And I'm going to name this AI con zombie controller. The detour crowd controller, the difference between it and an AI controller is it allows you to like walk around things and uh, it works like a crowd. So the zombies will uh, gather around you better. They'll be better at ignoring each other. So <clears throat> we're going to go to our zombies and we're going to change some things about them. So we're going to go to the class settings. Uh, sorry, not the class settings, class defaults. Change AI controller class to, de to uh, AI con zombie controller and auto possess to placed in world or spawned. Compile and save. And uh, we'll also change its movement. So we're going to hit the base zombie. We're going to get rid of, turn off, uh, use controller rotation yaw. And then go to the character movement. Go to orient rotation to movement. And change the speed to 175. This will make the zombies turn a little bit more. Uh, although they're going to be facing the player anyway, but it's fine. It'll look better later on when we change things. Now we need to change the way that it moves so it actually takes advantage of the AI controller. <clears throat> so we're going to get rid of the simple move to actor and um, we're going to do get AI controller. Uh, self for controlled actor. Don't, not really necessary I think, but that's fine. We're going to do move to actor. And we'll do off goal get player pawn. And acceptance radiance 175 is probably good just so we can see it. And uh, no, this doesn't look like the right one actually. Move to location. Sorry, move to location is the one we want. Uh, but we can change. Yeah, so get rid of that. <clears throat> Connect this. All right, so connect goal actor to get player pawn and controller to get AI controller. File, save. And uh, let's just make sure this works. And it doesn't for some reason. Get actor location. Oh, right, because we need to just do it once. So um, the way this one works is it'll keep trying to move there. Um, so it's executing over and over, which is overriding itself. So we need to do do once. And then we'll reset this on request failed and on move finished. So that should work. Yeah, now we got the zombies coming after us. All right, so we win. OK, so what else can we do? We can. Um, Right, so just add some comments here. Death sequence. Event any damage, take damage, or end or die. All right, so uh, I guess that'll do it for this episode, and in the next one, we'll uh, we'll work more on some other things. All right, so I'll see you in the next one.